Hello everybody, it's Flusher Productions here, and um, today I'm going to be talking about um, our last video, which was um, about the new episode. That uh, was not a joke. Uh, I saw a couple of people asking in the comments, like, oh, is this real? Is this, is this uh, real or not? And I don't think we really specified. So I just wanted to tell you, this is 100% real. Um, we are doing the new episode. Sorry for the wait again, we got lazy, as usual. Um, so, yeah, we're going to uh, finish up the episode, and we're going to upload it sometime this week. So, yeah, it, sh it should be really fun. This is going to be the last episode. Um, so, stay tuned, and I'm going to talk a little bit about FNAF 4 and what we're going to do with that. So... For FNAF 4, uh, we are going to have to make uh, one plush. We are going to have to do Nightmare Chica, which we already have a replacement Chica. So, we're going to make that. And then after that, we are going to um, start FNAF 4. And um, that should be really fun. Because I have so many ideas for FNAF 4. Because like, when you're stuck on the same thing for a little bit, it kind of gets a little boring. So... Because, like, FNAF 3, we, we, like, stopped for a whole year. And, um, we apologize for that. So we're trying to wrap it up and get it to FNAF 4. Probably one of my, uh, like, one of my favorite because of the room design. Because I have so many ideas on how to do the bedroom and what to do for it. So I'm gonna do that. It should be really fun. Um, yeah. And, um, so for FNAF 4 and the plans we're going to do for FNAF 4 is, um, we're going to do it to where it goes from, uh, every episode's probably going to be a daytime and then nighttime. So, like, the mini games in the daytime and then it goes to nighttime and then it ends when, you know, the chomp happens. Chomp, chomp. From... Mr. Fredbear, which we do have a Fredbear plush, because that's the reason why I made him from scratch. If you want to check out the video, go look in our channel. Um, yeah, we made a custom Fredbear plush. It was very, very cool. So, after that, uh, after Fredbear, we're going to um, probably make an alternate version where it either like um, op has an open mouth, or we're just gonna do something else with it. No idea, but I still need to get Spring Bonnie. I have, it's been sold out for who knows how long now. So it's been kind of hard to get that. And, um, yeah. So I need to repair Tim a little bit. Little main character. I need to repair this. And, uh, his toe right here. He's been withering over the years. He's been a good member of the FNAF family for a long time now. He's been the kid, and now he's... Because, like, that was the plan from the beginning with him. He was going to be the night guard for FNAF 3, because I'm like, hey, he should grow up now. Because, like, it started all in FNAF 1, now it's FNAF 3. And then that was, like, what, 2013, I'm pretty sure, when uh, FNAF 3 came out. I was still in elementary school when uh, FNAF 3 came out, I'm pretty sure. I was in, like, the fifth grade? Yeah, now I'm in my second year of high school, so that's fun. Dang, this is, uh, FNAF's pretty nostalgic for me, because, like, that was mostly, well, my childhood, technically, because, um, I liked it when I was in elementary, and I still like it now. It's probably one of my favorite games, at least indie game. Um, I do like other things, so, like. If you have any questions about what I'm going to be doing with the series now, from now on, you should um, ask in the comments. I will, I will look at them. I will see them. And if I see any interesting questions, I'll answer them 100%. So, yeah. If um, We're going to have to remake the, the kid. I don't know who we're going to make the kid yet for FNAF 4. The kid is uh, the main kid. The crying child, or whatever. Oh, uh, we do have the tiny Fredbear plush. We did show him off in our old episode, um, way back when. Old FNAF, 
I think it was FNAF 1 or 2. He was a background character holding a Fredbear plush. I don't know if I'm going to make him the crying kid that gets chopped or, or, or what. But that would be a pretty cool Easter egg if I did that. So, yeah. Go check out the old videos too. Because I'm going to add some elements from the old one, like the crazy pizzeria, you know. Uh, back from episode one, uh, when uh, Tim and his friends went to pizzeria after uh, after they invited all their friends to go. And that was so long ago. And now, like, our quality of our videos... Like, if you were to watch the last episode compared to the newest episode, the... The quality shot up because I've uh, I learned a whole bunch of new slew of editing techniques and things of that nature. So, yeah, and um, we're gonna probably do the same hectic pizzeria as usual for the FNAF thing, and then we're gonna add the element of uh, purple guy once again. So you all know the story of uh, at least the at least the story of FNAF 3 and at least how that works because I'm this is technically my own canon this is like what's happening in the series it's not a hundred percent um it, it's not a hundred percent true so like like the elements of Tim and his friends and all that he discovering the five kids that went missing and stuff like that so yeah it should be pretty fun and, um, if you guys have any ideas for us, any ideas for what I should add in FNAF 4, or what I should add in future series, because I don't know what I'm going to be doing after FNAF 4, maybe, yeah, probably, uh, wait, what game came after FNAF 4, wasn't it, um, FNAF World, I already did a little bit of FNAF World, I don't know if I'm going to continue that or not, if you guys want me to continue FNAF, uh, FNAF World, uh, go ahead and say in the comments, because I did introduce, uh, my my uh oc my fnaf oc which was basically just my channel person i didn't i was debating on whether to change my logo from just the normal freddy plush to my oc character we were debating on that we decided not to because we didn't want people to like confuse us as like not the real plush reductions so yeah and for uh Another thing, um, we will be making more custom plushies. We ran out of hot glue, like we said before, and due to quarantine, all the shops that are selling hot glue are closed, like uh, Hobby Lobby, stuff like that, and um, so I couldn't get any new fabric or stuff of that nature, so that's pretty damn sad, you know, it's like um, I can't make any more custom plushies because I wanted to uh, do a foxy one. Uh, I did get an extra Foxy plush, which I'm going to extract a pattern from it. And after I get the pattern, I'm going to try and make my own Foxy plush, which should be pretty fun, actually. So, my plan for Foxy is, uh, okay, so, there, tell me any type of alternate Foxy and I'll try to make it. Because I think I can do that now. So, if you have any ideas for any Foxy plushies that I could make, I'll try and do that. I'll sew it by hand, like how I did Fredbear. Fredbear's a little bit, uh, withering out right now. But I guess that'll fit the aesthetic when the time comes. So, yeah. And uh, one more thing. Uh, for sister location, uh, we, we can do that. But, um, yeah, we could, couldn't we? Sister location seems to be, like, an easy one to do. Because, fairly simple, you have tasks and then you complete the night after you complete your tasks. So, yeah. But the, I think the f more funner one is... Uh, Pizzeria Simulator, because we have some characters from that, and then I would have to make new ones, which would be really fun. So, I don't know. I, if I can consistently upload for now on, I could probably uh, get to... I could probably get uh, far in the FNAF games before I'm done with YouTube. So, yeah, I'll, I'll definitely play the... New FNAF uh, VR game that's going to be coming out if you guys want to see that. And, uh, if you guys want to see me play some of the FNAF games, like the older ones. Because I, uh, 
the reason why we stopped uploading the FNAF sister, uh, not sister location, I mean, FNAF uh, VR Help Wanted, uh, was because our VR headset bugged out and broke, and we, because of quarantine, we couldn't get a, a cable in for, because the main cable broke, and we couldn't get a new cable in, so that's why we stopped that, and then, uh, we finally got, uh, we finally found a eBay auction that was only selling it for like 20 bucks and then the bid shot up to 50 and we got it. So yeah, so we got a new headset. So if you guys want to see me finally finish uh, FNAF um, Help Wanted, because that was scary. I'm not even going to lie. FNAF VR uh, Help Wanted was probably one of the most uh, scary because, like, I didn't really think of uh, FNAF, uh, the FNAF games is scary. FNAF 2 especially. FNAF 2 was, it was a fun, it was fun, but, like, it wasn't as scary to me. The scariest 